Sir Colin Earl Meads was born on June 3, 1936 and died on August 20, 2017. He was a New Zealand rugby union player. He played 55 test matches, 133 total games. Most frequently in the lock forward position for New Zealand's national team, the All Blacks, from 1957 until 1971. Meads is widely considered one of the greatest players in history. Nicknamed Pine Tree due to his physical presence, he was an icon within New Zealand rugby and was named the country's player of the century at the NZRFU Awards in 1999. Meads played his club rugby throughout his career for Whitehead RFC in Takuiti. He played his first game for King Country in 1955 against Counties at the age of 19. He had a memorable game, scoring a try, and even a drop goal. An unusual feat for a lock, he would play a further 138 games for the province. Meads played his club rugby throughout his career for White at RFC in Takuiti. 9. He played his first game for King Country in 1955 against Counties. At the age of 19, he had a memorable game, scoring a try and even a drop goal, an unusual feat for a lock. He would play a further 138 games for the province. In 1955 Meads was also selected for the New Zealand Under-21 side which toured Ceylon, now Sri Lanka. He played all eight matches, scored three tries and was recognized by the Rugby Almanac as one of the 1955 season's most promising players. In 1956 Meads played in national trials and was selected for the North Island team as a loose forward. But was considered too young to play for the All Blacks against the Springboks. Meads was selected for the 1957 Tour of Australia. He played in 10 matches and made his test debut. Against the Wallabies, he played both tests, scoring a try in the second. Although normally a lock, he played at flanker and number 8 and even wing, from where he scored a try. As the all-black team was strong on locks. From 1957 until 1971 Meads was effectively an automatic pick for the All Blacks, missing selection for just two series. The British and Irish Lions in 1959 and Australia in 1962. When he toured Japan in the New Zealand under-23 team in 1958 teammate Ken Briscoe gave him the nickname Pine Tree and it stuck. He was named captain of the All Blacks 11 times, his first in a 23-9 victory over the combined services during the 1963-64 Tour of Britain. His captaincy debut for the All Blacks in a test match came in his final series against the Lions in 1971. His final international game ended in a 14-14 draw, giving the Lions a 2-1 series victory, their only series win over the All Blacks. He seriously injured his back in a Land Rover accident at the end of the year and never played for the All Blacks again. Meads recovered enough to continue playing for King Country for two more years before retiring, amassing a total of 361 first-class matches, a record that stood for 42 years. His strength and high threshold for pain became legendary, best illustrated when in a game against Eastern Transvaal in South Africa, in which he emerged from a particularly vicious wreck with his arm dangling horribly, with an obvious fracture, yet completed the match. When the doctor cut away his shirt and confirmed the break, Meads muttered, at least we won the bloody game, he missed the first two tests, but returned for the third with his still broken arm held together by a thin guard. Another incident occurred when Meads was kicked in the head, causing a large gash. The All Blacks doctor at the time wanted to take him to hospital so they could use anesthetic but Meads ordered him to do it right there in the dressing room. He also had the reputation of being a hard man and an enforcer. Benoit Daga, 
The player Meads thought had kicked him in the head ended up with a broken nose. South African centre Gian Gainsford once tried to challenge Meads, who proceeded to hold his wrists in a grip that was like being held in a band of steel, and simply said, Don't bother. Son, Meads considers the Welsh player Rhys Williams and Irishman Willie John McBride just as hard as him. Meads was involved in some controversial incidents. In 1967, he was sent off by Irish referee Kevin D. Kelleher for dangerous play against Scotland at Murrayfield, becoming only the second All Black suspended in a test match at the time. Meads is regarded by many as New Zealand's greatest ever rugby player, and was named Player of the Century at the NZRFU Awards dinner in 1999. He is a member of both the World Rugby Hall of Fame and the New Zealand Sports Hall of Fame, and was a member of the International Rugby Hall of Fame before its merger with the World Rugby Hall in 2014. The International Rugby Hall of Fame considers him to have been the most famous forward in world rugby throughout the 1960s. He died at 81 years old.